What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be just taking a look at a couple of new legends and boosters that have been added to the game but that are not out yet and what could potentially could be coming into the future, right? So we're going to talk about it, we're going to answer a few questions. As we know by now, Konami have started to release double epic packs as well as a showtime or a big time or a themed feature pack there. And as you know here, they always release on Monday their main kind of epic draw, right? So it's Maradona this time of recording. But we still have a lot of cards in the database that they have added that they haven't released yet. We've got a couple of concept designs here. These ones from Buddy J. And they've added a lot from V3.6 updates as well to the database. So Cordoba, Matarazzi and Julio Cesar seem to be at an Inter Milan or an Italian League Guardian style pack. Those cards have yet to come out. We also have these J-League selections here. Now, Sakai also came out with Song Krasen a minute ago. You just saw him there to start the video. But the other two boys, Sakai and Kubo, have not been out yet. And this also follows through for probably one of the most anticipated cards, which is Paolo Maldini, who is down as a young version of Maldini there with Italy. This seems to definitely going to be coming with the Euro content that they've been dropping. Casillas, Puyol, and of course, Maldini there as well. These are cards that are up in the databases for a while, but they haven't actually been released yet into Dream Team itself. And then we have Tony Adams, Belletti, and Lizarazu. Lizarazu, of course, getting a brand new card. Belletti getting a card. And then Tony Adams is a brand new legend, never been released before. Him and Metarazzi have been in the database the longest without having been released. So that's something to think about as well. But on top of that, they've also added a lot of new cards, right? So we're going to be showing you these from Sapo Pez. This guy over on Twitter has done up a couple of mock-ups. It looks like we're going to be getting a ton of Euro-inspired cards, as well as a couple of other club edition cards as well. So you've got Michel Platini, you've got uh, Varane, you've got Darren Fletcher and Scolzi, as well as Beckham and Lampard. So Beckham and Lampard seem to be from the Euro, uh, you know, European selection from the England pack or from England national team. You've got the same that rings true for Totti and Zaghi, Del Piero, Baggio and Pirlo. We know that we've already got Pirlo today with Maradona at the time of recording of this. Maradona was in a box with Pirlo, Marad or Pirlo Maradona and Javi Lanza were all in a box. And we also have a new card for Rumi down there as well, which seems to be from the Germany selection. Now, when you take a look at these, these are a couple of mock-ups here. This obviously looks like it's going to be um, a different version of Beckham than has released before, which does make sense. Could they hold this off until eFootball 2025? Potentially, potentially. Also, Platini could get double cards. He could get a French card and a Juventus card. Fletcher could get the same. Uh, it depends what way that they're going to release these. You know, once they have a new legend, and also these are all new mock-ups, as these are not official images of the game. This is just all concept designs you've got for on there as well. And I want to talk about one at the end as well, which we'll get to. It looks like they're tying in a lot of European content and that the Euro content is going to be the last big update before eFootball 2025. Because if you extend this out a bit again and you look at the rest, of the players that they've added you see in the bottom right hand corner there you've got Maradona so Maradona and Jabby Alonso on this page the two players at the end of the screen uh, on the right side they've already now been released they've been released with the Pirlo pack okay Rijkaard, Van Basten and Hollett seem to be in Dutch or Netherlands selection. Then you've got the Spanish contingent of Raul, Xabi and of course Alonso that did not release together. Then it's back to, again, club. So you've got Romario, Czech, uh, Stoichkovic and of course Perez and Makalele, right? So it seems to be that they've added a mix of different club versus national team or international team players which uh, yeah i mean let's see they also rounded off then as well with a new rui costa donadona iniesta kagawa burkamp and nakata so there is a lot of selection here obviously the big ones that you're going to be talking about it depends on where you want to upgrade your squad or it depends on your favorite players you know we don't have zidane r9 Henri, any of those guys i don't think we're going to get those unless we get them in eFootball 2025 i think they'll want to make a big splash with those on launch week or launch month or have some sort of, you know, big promotion for any new legend that, that comes, whether it's going to be Zidane or any of those guys, right? Because I feel like that's one big thing. Now, also, one player that's been added as well to the files has been Gareth Bale. Again, this is a brand new concept design. This is not an official image. This is a concept design. What version of Bale will come? But it looks like he will be coming to the game. It looks like he'll be coming to Dream Team. And it looks like it'll be like a prime version of Gareth Bale, which I think could be a very very popular card but let me know what you guys think i will talk to you guys in a little bit let me know what you guys think of all of these who are you waiting on who would you like to see into the future we're going to get a couple of videos going as well and don't forget to subscribe and like the channel until next time peace